Morning, everybody. It's NCP. We got a, another thunderstorm rolling in here in eastern North Carolina. So, I need to finish up my ground system. Uh, this is what I came up with. Oh, point of order or note. Now, the cable company likes to vary cables. Yeah, watch where you're digging. Fortunately, that wasn't part of this. So, I dug it up. It's running right there. I mean, here's some over here. You, know, you can see it's, it's really on the surface, so I just want to make sure I don't hit that as I drive this ground rod. This is an older rod I dug up from over there by the original antenna. But, gosh dang, man. Whew, that was hard getting out of the ground. <laughs> I don't know where my other ground rods are at. I just used one of those. But, I got this done. Um, gonna have to redo part of it. These holes don't line up over here as well as they should have. So... I'm gonna have to redo those holes to get the the uh, VHF in, and I'll put some ferrite beads on here. I don't have the right ones. I'm gonna use the Mix uh, 31 right now. So I need the I guess 11 meter for 11 11 centimeter or whatever for uh, LMR 400. So those are up to 300 megahertz, but uh, it's gonna allow it to go in at under 10 megahertz. So. Under 10 megahertz will, will resolve it. Um, I believe there's going to be some uh, common mode RF coming back down here, down the cable. Uh, ICOMs are really sensitive to that, and they're sensitive to voltage fluctuation, so we'll have to figure that out and put it up later. But this is it. This is how it's going to work. And then I'll just you know, set that in there, seal it up, and then we'll seal up the edges there, or the ends, and we'll be good to go. And I'm just pounding this ground rod. I'm going to put a three 10 gauge wires um two 10 gauge is equal to like a seven gauge wire and i really want six so uh, i think three is three 10 gauge wires equals a six gauge wire i think i don't know there's a program on the computer you can look up uh just google you know uh uh i don't know google something <laughs> google a uh, wire size equivalent thing we use it all the time at work because we're lazy but Anyway, this is it. I'm gonna get this ground rod in, and uh, I should be done with the grounding. And then I'll put up the the tram. Uh, I don't know. It's like a 1481 antenna over there. Uh, I don't think I'm gonna be able to put it where I want because uh, I only had 100 foot of coax. I tell them our 400, and the reason I got it was the the very little losses on a on a um, VHF yeah, and microwave. But that's it. As if for day, I gotta beat this thunderstorm real quick. It's kind of hard to take these antennas off. I mean, I can do it, but it's still tight tolerances on the box. I need to make the holes bigger on the side so I can actually get in farther. Um, they're up too high. You know, I don't know how that screwed up, but I'll repair it. And then I can just disconnect them on top of everything else. But should I get a strike, um, a lightning strike, it will definitely blow up the radio and everything else. But a near miss shouldn't induce enough current to do it the gas discharge on the uh, <clears throat> on the um, lighting arresters and they'll also break down the static and discharge that with the arc over so there we go um that'll be going right and cp out